The Zombo Chopping Channel is on the air! <laughs> Our next item is a beautiful three-carat ring. And I know that your ghoul friend would find this item so very special. So, let's ask the rock girl. Bianca, why is this such a special deal? This is such a special deal, because not only do you get the ring, but you get the whole hand. That's right, and we only have a few left. Now tell me, Bianca, is it expensive? Of course not, because on the Zombo Chopping Channel, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Do you like scary movies? Well, do you? Because strange images are in the air tonight. I've sent Quasi deep into the vault to pull out some of the scariest movies ever made. So turn out the lights. Get close to someone you care for. Because it's time for Zombo's House of Horror Movies. <laughs> Come, let's go inside and meet Quasi. Miss Transylvania. Werewolfy. The head nurse. Officer not so friendly. And Bianca, the rack girl. And I'm hot. Hello, everybody, boys and ghouls, mummies and daddies. It's your old pal Zombo welcoming you to Zombo's House of Horror Movies. Ooh, this week's movie is one of the scariest movies ever made. Chopping Mall. Chopping Mall was released in 1986. A group of teenagers decide to test the mattress springs out in the furniture store after the mall closes. But when lightning strikes the security room, the security robots take a turn for the worse. Chopping Mall stars Ben Stiller, R2-D2's evil brother 4Q, Rick Springfield, Uncle Jesse, Newman, the Olsen twins, Steve Gutenberg, Tom Cruise, Bill Gates, Farrah Fawcett, Jacqueline Pollock, and the Three Amigos. Hey, what is this place, a speakeasy? <sighs> I wonder who's at the door. <sighs> All right, you. Let me see your driver's license. Oh, I wish you'd make up your mind. One day you take it away from me. The next day you want to see it. Always the victim. Huh? What? Uh, uh, listen, you. You went through that stop sign without stopping. Oh, yes, I did, but I slowed down. But you still went through it. Oh, but I looked both ways, and the coast was clear. But you didn't come to a complete stop. Well, what difference does it make? <laughs> All right, you numbskull. I'll show you. <laughs> now, you want me to slow down? Or do you want me to stop? Now, come along, you. You're going to traffic school. Well, it looks like you're the only one signed up for traffic school. So we might as well get started. Ooh, excuse me. 
but are you a policewoman? And how did you know? Oh, because you're packing a pair of 38s. That's enough. Now, I want you to answer some test questions for me. Number one, do you yield when a blind pedestrian is crossing the road? Oh, what for? He can't see my license plate. <sighs> Number two, what problem would you face if you were arrested for drunk driving? Oh, I'd probably lose my buzz a lot sooner. <sighs> Number three, what can you do to help ease a heavy traffic problem? Oh, carry loaded weapons. Uh, well, congratulations, Mr. Zombo. You've scored a perfect zero on your test. Do you know what that means? Oh, yes, I've won a vacation. Yes, to Club Dread, you're going to jail. Come with me. <laughs> Tonight's movie is brought to you in gory and scary color. <laughs> No, 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 no! You're not getting off that easy! Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the film portion of our presentation. Now, I'm sure you all have questions, so let me introduce you to the head of development for Securetronics Unlimited, Dr. Stan Simon. Thank you very much. Before I open the floor, I'd like you all to meet your brand new security team. The Protector 101 series robots. One week from tonight, at closing, the Protectors will begin their patrol of the mall. Paul, they look like the Three Stooges. Each assigned to one of the three upper shopping levels. I don't know, Mary, the one in the middle has an unpleasantly ethnic quality. Now, are there any questions? Yes, Dr. Carrington. So, what do your machines there do besides kill criminals? They open beer bottles! Well, first of all, Doctor, the protectors do not kill. I wonder if they kill cockroaches. They could probably be programmed to. They merely detain intruders until the computer, located on the roof, can patch into the mall phone system and send an alarm to the police. I don't know, that guy looked awfully dead to me. Just neutralized. Just neutered! Protectors can achieve this function in a number of ways. At close range, sleep darts fired from here and here can knock a man out in less than 30 seconds. However, the likelihood of an intruder gating entry is greatly minimized by the steel security doors, which are time locked from midnight till dawn. Um, they seem so violent. If they're called protectors, what do they protect? Obviously, they didn't protect you from buying that dress. 
For starters, as seen in the film, the protectors do their work in the mall proper, not in the stores themselves. Maybe we could use one at the restaurant. Get rid of people we don't like. For instance, lasers positioned here can cut through any sort of debris. Well, that's all very well and good, but what about those who work late? And how can your things there distinguish between the good guys and the bad guys? That's very simple. Watch. This is Simon. Ring number one online. May I see your identification badge, please? Scanning. They remind me of your mother. It's the laser eyes. Thank you. Have a nice day. Same to you. There, you see? The system is absolutely foolproof. Now, everyone connected with the mall has been issued an ID card so that when the secure master goes online, the protectors will make Park Plaza the safest mall in the state. Trust me, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Give it to me, give it to me. What do you got? Andiamo. Can I get two of Kaluji belly busters, a double anchovy pizza, and an order of garlic logs? Oh, gross. What in hobby brain ordered that? Guy over there. Oh, God. I should have known. That orca beach is here every night. Always trying to snag some skin. Play it safe, Alice, and serve it on blink if you get my drift. Thanks for the advice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, honey, you break in my heart. Menage America, porca miseria. Look, Allison, in about an hour and a half, we bail this barbecue, and it's good times to the max. You've just got to show. Susie, you've got a one-track mind. I already told you, I don't know anybody. Yeah, but you will after tonight. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, would I set you up with a slime dog or something? No way, babe. It, it is, is babe, babe, isn't it? it? Come on, come on, take it while it's hot. Uh, while it's hot. Girls, come on. Yeah, all right, all right. Waitress, more butter. <laughs>
I think he just popped a spring. Killed by robot wood. This is the rap girl. She's a definite 10. Do you think tonight's movie is a 10? Well, now you can rate all the movies on Zombo's House of Horror Movies. Just go to Zombo.com, click on Rate the Movies, and be a movie critic. I want to know what you think. And I'll keep track of the ratings to let you know which movies you think are the scariest. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's your old pal Zombo down here in Zombo's Dungeon Art Gallery. Do you know where some of the world's greatest artists get their inspiration? It's from this show. Are you a budding artist? Do you look like Toulouse Lautrec? Or do you have a strange affinity for body parts like Vincent Van Gogh or Mike Tyson? Maybe you have artistic ability. Can you draw Quasi the Hunchback? Well, here's your chance to show your art to the world. It's time for Zombo Scary Picture Gallery. Let's look at tonight's picture of the week. Today's picture was sent in by Mark from Susanville. Werewolfie? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Werewolfie. Let's go in for a closer look at this very interesting and scary picture. Ooh, I see the castle and, oh, look, it looks like Rocky the Flying Squirrel. I don't know if he's flying, but he looks high to me. And, oh, look, here is the Rack Girl. And she's saying, I'm hot. And Rocky's saying, ah, it's Rat Girl. Take me to your chamber and chain me. Now pay attention, boys and ghouls and mummies and daddies. We should have covered this a long time ago. This is the Rat Girl. And this is the Rack Girl. We call her the Rack Girl because she's on the rack and because she has a nice rack. Now don't forget, boys and ghouls, get out your pencils, paints, crayons, and whatever. Draw me a scary picture and send it to me, Zombo, at the Scary Picture Gallery, and I'll put it on the show for everyone to see. Send in your scary pictures to Zombo's Scary Picture Gallery in care of this station, or check out the Zombo website at zombo.com under Gallery. <laughs> Attention shoppers, the next half hour, everything in our drapery department will be marked down 30%. Your attention please, your attention please. We have a lost child in lingerie, answering to the name of Steve. Michael said find out that you do this, I'm dead. I oh, don't tell me, Ferdy, you gonna chicken shit on us again? We already agreed. He trusts me to take care of the store while he's gone. He ain't gonna know diddly unless you tell him. And you ain't gonna tell him, are you? Hey, look, don't force me to pull rank. Hey, pull rank on your own time! Oh, I'm shaking. You know, Brennan, you're becoming a real candidate for what could. <laughs> look, guys, this party is gonna happen, but we need a little teamwork, okay? Besides, if the place looks like shit on money, it's all our asses. You got the beer? Great. Come on. The... The fridge is packed. All right, good. Rick and Linda bringing the food. Clean sheets are definitely waiting. And, uh, Susie... <laughs> Susie has a surprise for you. <laughs> I don't know, guys. 
Come on, Ferdy. Forget about your Uncle Sid for a while. This is gonna work, okay? Ferdy, you can't back out on us now. Okay, okay, let's party. All right. But first I gotta find Mrs. Flanagan's fuchsia. I, I well, can't. you find Mrs. Flanagan's fuchsia. You, you hold down the fort. I will. I'm gonna go find Leslie. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Whack, whack. Greg, I... Ferdy, don't worry. It's not that. I can't find the fuchsia. Ah, oh, fuck the fuchsia. It's Friday. Tell the old bag to wait. Okay, hon, give it a try. Ow! Ow! Strike three, Walden. You're out. My turn. It's okay, I got it. I got it. You know the rules, Buster. Into the cab. Okay, Butch. You know I can't resist it when you get tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just crank it when I tell you. Well, we're waiting. Just a sec, huh? All right, let's hit it. Always the first time. Not another word. Me? No way. I covered this whole deal when I said for better or worse, remember? Of course I remember. I mean, who could forget that 40-way stain right there on your tux? Should have been for better or worse. Well, speaking of that word, what about this furniture store? Oh, thing? come on, Walden. Don't. We haven't had any fun since we sunk all our wedding money into the business. Besides. Susie's counting on us. Honey, I don't care Okay, about... okay, okay. I guess I won't be needing this. Uh, Attention shoppers! This lame 80s movie will continue for another 60 minutes. Can't you wait? No, I can't. <laughs> what can't you wait for, Michael? Mr. Todd. Uh, well, I, I... I was just telling Leslie here that, uh... uh well, that, uh... Daddy. He was just telling me how he couldn't wait to take me over to Susie's house tonight for her, um, birthday party. I see. Well, I'm running late. You'll lock up? Sure, I'll take care of everything. Yes. I'm sure you will. Okay, Daddy. Well, I love you, too. Bye. So, what do you say? You say go out and have a good time. Oh, all right. That is bitching. Boy, I wish I had it that easy. My parents still think I'm a kid. Why do I have the feeling I'm going to regret this in the morning? Look, Allison, you've had yourself a very rough first week. Mm -hmm. You owe yourself a little blowout. Mm -hmm. Come on, it'll be fun. Okay, and just so long as I don't have to look at any more pizza. Oh, you won't, I promise. Oh, great, this is going to be wonderful. You won't regret this. I bet. Attention, shoppers. Park Plaza will be closing in 10 minutes. I am so nervous. Here's by my lovely. I really hate blind dates. Oh, yeah, audacious. Lipstick. Susie. Oh, no, it's a terrible color. Give me another color. What if he's not my type? Oh, yeah, that's it. Blush is blush. Susie, are you listening? What are we going to do all night? We can stop worrying. Like I said, he's, he's got, got a great personality. personality. That's right. right. He does. You're going to love him. Trust me on this. Hey, babe. It is babe, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
expensive. Why? Okay. Why? No, you look good. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> Marty, I'm sorry I'm late, but it was all you could eat night down at the pit, and I couldn't resist the opportunity to pick out. Marty? Bill, oh, Marty! How's it hanging, guys? The least you could do is clean up. Well, you should not want night, you know what I mean? No, I, uh, I guess you wouldn't. Is this? What do you mean, who is this? You called me. I called to find out who you are. Jerk. That's for Windows 3.1! Hey, Zambo! Oh, well, if it isn't my little pal, Minnie Z! What do you call a polite, friendly, gentle, good-looking monster? I don't know. A failure! <laughs> Ooh, it's the sigh of relief. And we'll be right back to our very scary movie right after these important messages from our sponsors. <laughs> Happy motoring. You're so sentimental. Catch up Where you? Get away! Yeah, tonight you are gonna shake that ultra Wally image of yours once and for all. But I like my image. I don't wanna shake. Look, you guys just have fun. I just look. This is not a democracy. You have no choice. But I got a lot of bookkeeping to catch up on. 
Ernie Mizell. Meet Allison Parks. Hi. Hi. License for that outfit? Why, uh, no, officer. I guess you're just gonna have to take me in. <laughs> you smell like pepperoni. Well, that's the way you feel. Wait a minute. What? I like pepperoni. And I like clams. <laughs> oh, in that case. <laughs> Are you a turtle? I <laughs> Those are the biggest crabs I've ever seen! <laughs> I don't know why I watch these things. It scares so easily. I'm sorry. I should have told you about that. I've seen this one a few times. Could I get you some more wine? Bertie, are you trying to get me drunk? No, no. I, I just figured maybe you might be thirsty. <sighs> you know, part of the reason why Greg fixed me up here tonight was so I... I wouldn't squeal to my uncle. I never thought that, uh... What? I never thought it would be so, uh... You know, nice. It's been nice for me too, Ferdy. Oh, God! Oh, God! You're the king! You're the king! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, look, it's getting kind of late. The ball's going to seal up in about an hour. What do you say I take you home? That's real sweet, Ferdy. But if it's all right with you, I can stay a little while longer. 
Nice shot. The third time's the charm. <laughs> Yo, Walter, you having a good time? Ty, you know Paisley. He loves the challenge. Now go ahead and laugh, you guys. But if I ever find a little did this, a dead meat. All right, Walter, right. Say, you better hustle it up. Uh, you don't want to get locked up in here again, do you? Hey, rub it in all you like. I'll be out here in 10 minutes, you'll see. <laughs> Creeps. For this. AIC, your identification badge, please. Identification badge? Do not make any sudden moves. Sudden move? I'll give you a sudden move upside your head. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is this, your worthless pile of junk, huh? Hey, look. I'm like you, you know? I work here. See? Huh? See that? I knew you were going to be trouble when I first brought you in here. Ah! 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 Thank you. Have a nice day. Hey, smoking's bad for your health. I have to have a cigarette, and I have to have one now. Are you for real? Can't you think of anything you'd rather have besides a smoke? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think Singleton left a pack of camels under the register. Camels? I... No way. You know I only smoke brooch and lights. Well, what do you expect me to do? Go out in the mall and buy a pack? There's a machine right down by the phones. You always get your way, don't you? When I'm happy, everybody's happy. That's for sure. Hand me my badge, will you? What's the magic word? Hand me my badge, please. Thank you. Leslie. Yeah? Hey, are there any messages for Zombo? 
And no, there haven't been any messages for you. May I see your identification badge, please? Jeez, you're too quiet. Here. Flatu, Barada, Nictu, okay? those two anyway personally i can't figure it out all they do is have sex and fight like most couples yeah look we got about 15 minutes before the whole place locks up 30 yeah thanks of us being 
locked in here all night. The security doors don't open till six. Oh no, we're never gonna get out of here. Yes, you will, just not in one piece. The phone's dead. The computer must have taken control. Well, what about that? The air duct. Wait, we take it down to the parking levels. We're out of here. Let's go for it. Go, baby. Ah. I'm right behind you. As usual. Prepare for detonation. Proceeding to alternate access. Come on, Austin. You're next. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Everybody, it's your old pal Zombo. It's time to go visit the Rat Girl. <laughs> we'll be right back to our very scary movie after these important messages from our sponsors. Ooh, check out the Zombo website at zombo.com. Come! <laughs> I thought this was an air conditioning duct. Looks like the heat's been turned on. In the middle of summer? They know we're in here. They're trying to French fry us. Come on, Suze. You know who gives you twice as much heat at the restaurant? Wrap whatever you can around your hands. <laughs> I can't stand this anymore. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Come on, don't be such a girl. Come on, Suze. Hang in there. Now, find some way out of here. We're gonna have to defend ourselves. Is this place got a sporting goods store? Tech and pause. Let's go. Come on. How are we gonna get in? Don't worry, I got the keys. <laughs> Bertie, chain tags, grab the biggest. All right. Nice what about shells? 12 gauge. Here. Oh, great. Thanks. Two, two, three. Let's go send those Rambo Graham. Sure you know how to shoot that? Yeah. I saw Dirty Harry 24 times. All set? Yeah. Good. One of them ought to heard that. Dead man could have heard that. Hey, fellas, we got company. That didn't take very long. Steady, go for it.
I gotta find Greg. He needs me. Just like a baker needs dough. <laughs> Let me out of here. Susie, please. The guys told us to go down to the parking levels. <laughs> shabby, huh? Yeah, well, we're not finished yet. We still got two more of these suckers around here someplace. We gotta get some more tanks. What are you thinking? I got an idea. Really, you guys, this is not a good idea. Greg could be hurt. They all could. I'm gonna find them. I've got to. What do you think? Well, if we gotta go, let's not go empty-handed. I didn't think that'd work. Uh, never hurts to try. No, I guess not. Give me a hand, guys. Let's pry this baby open. Uh, come on. You know, I gotta worry. Report from the front. Bertie's gotta worry. Yeah. Look, what if these things can read our minds? They're gonna be awful mad when they get to me. All right, all right. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Give me the gun. Take the cap off and stuff the cloth in. That's it? That's it. Light it and throw it. Sound like you've done this before. Regular or unleaded. It gets the job done. This is a fine time to go shopping. Guys, how's it going? Almost done, Bertie. You think Mike got out all right? For his sake, I hope so. But right now, I'm more concerned about the girls. Yeah, you and me both. Hey, I almost forgot. How much do I owe you for the beer? Forget it, man. If we get out of here, you owe me a six pack. Just make sure that those cords are good and tight. Yeah. Are you sure this is going to work? With those things, Greg, I'm not sure of anything. Hey, Bertie, how's the panel coming? Well, the door's working now. I bypassed the circuit. But forget about going up or down. It's controlled by the computer. Do you hear anything unusual? Only my heartbeat.
the hottest babe in this movie. Come on! And we will be right back to our very scary movie after these important messages from our sponsors. According to my calculations, provided we survive the night, of course, we're going to be in hock to this place for the next 85 years. How many tune-ups is that? Just a sec. Two million, nine hundred thousand, four hundred and thirty-one. Maybe we should raise our rates. It looks like his rate is rising right now! Hey, Dead Eye. Yo. Nice shooting. Thanks. Tell me one thing, though, huh? Why did you leave the air shaft? I mean, you were safe there. He was safe. Like Susie thought you were in trouble. She just wanted to help. I'm telling you, you should have kept her there. Hey, look, she told you what happened. Why didn't you just leave her alone? Shut up. You just shut the up. Hey. Do you guys mind keeping it down? There's another one of those things out there. And you're going to bring it right to us. There's another one? Why haven't we seen it? Why? I'll tell you why. He's waiting to pick us up one by one! But I got news for you. He ain't getting me. Right. You're not thinking, man. We got this far by staying together. And a lot of good that did Susie, right?
Wait. Wait, I got an idea. The master computer is somewhere on the third level. We shut it down, it shuts the robots down. Well, it's worth a try. Computer, huh? Let's go trash the... Come on, guys, let's take it! Somebody slow down! Wait, wait, wait! The penny's losing it! He's not going to get us all killed! Don't stop! Don't stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Come on, guys, the coast is clear! He didn't kill it! No! Protector 3 to level 2, detain intruder. Protector 1 to level 2, detain intruder. Escalator, third level. What about the doors? We can't relock them. They'll get through. Maybe so. Maybe not. Let's go. I love you. I love you too. Those things can go anywhere they want. You know, maybe we'd all stand a better chance if we split up. Are you kidding? The moment any one of us go out there, we're dead meat. Yesterday's news. Damn it, Freddy, will you stop it? Will you just stop it? Linda. Linda, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I. It's all right. It's not you, Freddy. I guess I'm just not used to being chased around a mall in the middle of the night by killer robots.
how could you sleep at a time like this, even though the audience is? long before it comes our way. We've got to get out of here. Not so fast. One of them could have doubled back. We could get picked off out there. Well, look, if those things want some target practice, why don't we give them some targets? Let's go find that computer. Where the hell is it? Probably up one of these service corridors. There's a million doors. I'm gonna find it. Okay. Well, you try over there, and I'll try over here. No, I don't want to split up. What can happen? You want a list? We're wasting time. Okay, look, if you even think you see anything or hear anything. You don't hear me.
someone needs a hug. Allison, move! Get out! Laser malfunction. Laser malfunction. Detain intruder. Detain intruder. Laser malfunction. Laser malfunction. Detain intruder. Detain intruder. Make that big V8 sound. <laughs> Quick, run into the women's restroom. It can't follow you in there.
Now don't forget, boys and ghouls and mummies and daddies, tune in next week for another very scary movie on Zombo's House of Horror Movies. <laughs>